Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you have never seen my face before, hello, my name is Michaela, and I'd love for you to subscribe and become part of our family here on YouTube. Okay, so it was requested that I do um, advice or tips for going back to school. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So I got a lot of eighth through 12th so I'm going to start with 8th, make an 8th grade video, then do a 9th grade video, and a 10th grade, and 11th grade, and 12th grade, and so on and so on. Like that, even though I have no earthly idea past 12th grade. Okay, <laughs> but, so, yeah, so we're starting with 8th grade, that's what this video is. So yeah, let's get on into the video. I still don't know why I did that, because I'm just going to start the video or like not really start the video but start the tips okay <clears throat> so I have 10 tips or 10 tidbits of advice for you all okay <laughs> so number one is as basic as basic you can get and that is to be yourself so basically if somebody this is the way that I put it do not change for anyone do not change who you are for anyone. Not a boy, not a girl, not whatever. Just do not change for them, okay? If they cannot l pick up a pencil for you, say you dropped a pencil, and they can't pick that pencil up for you, they're not worth changing for, okay? Okay, now yes, if you like have this rebellious state and you're not listening to anything anyone say and you're just getting into all sorts of trouble, okay then yes, you can change. But if you're not and you're going through life all happy-go-lucky, but then all of a sudden you change into this like dark, scary person that no one recognizes anymore for someone else, I'm going to come find you. And I'm going to be like, why did you do that? Okay, because you're you. There's a reason that you're the way that you are. So yourself okay let's go leave it at that all right number two is do your homework as soon as you possibly can so that's not meaning like as soon as it's assigned start working on it and rush through it and mess it all up that's meaning go through it get it work on it a little bit and then as soon as you can start working on it so that you're not just so you're not just like writing down your final answers as you're trying to turn it in. Okay, I've done that. Not it, it was not good. I got like the lowest grades <laughs> ever when I did that. So like if you have a class that you're just watching a movie in or something, you can start working on your homework then. Okay, and yes, you're probably like, but I want to talk to my friends while we're watching the movie or watch the movie. Okay, you can multitask. Is there is such a thing. It can be done, and you can still do your homework very well while you're talking to someone or while you're watching a movie, okay? Most people are like, oh, don't do that. You need quiet. Oh, quiet. Okay. Yes. Quiet's good. If, if it's something that you seriously are struggling in, you just don't understand, yes, quiet's good. Okay. I'll give them that. But if it's, like, the math problems that are going to take you, like, five minutes to do go ahead and get them done okay like multitask get them done you'll be fine <laughs> okay because that's what i did and i ended up no i was not in the top 10 but i was like 32 out of like 200 and something kids so i'm gonna be like hey you know all right so number three is keep a planner so you don't have to just be like math homework do science homework do you, you know so you can put in anniversaries birthdays fun funny days like national cat day which i think is an actual day like i'm i'm really not sure i don't i don't keep up with all the kooky holidays which are really fun but you know so, but if you start keeping a planner in 8th grade, then by the time you're in 12th grade, you're going to have your system down. You're going to know 
how you want to keep up with things, how, what works for you and what doesn't work for you because trust me, when you're a senior in high school, you're going to have so many dates that if you don't have a planner, you're going to be like, what? Where did I go? How do I get from point A to point B? I'm just saying. So, have a planner. Okay. So, four is to have a lot of pencils. Have the pencils that you know you're never, never, ever letting anyone borrow. Okay. This is me honest here. And then have the pencils like this that you're just like, yeah, you need to borrow a pencil? Here you go. There's, I mean, let's be honest here. This pencil probably like came in a pack of 10 for probably about two bucks. Okay. Just, just putting that out there. Okay. So you, you, you're more okay of losing this pencil than you are the mechanical pencil that cost you like 10 bucks for a pack of two. Which is, I don't understand why anyone would buy that, unless, like, they last for, like, 10 years. But, okay. But, yes. So, have your separates. So, like, have a, have, like, a plastic baggie with all of these guys in it. And then have, like, your nice pencil case with all the good ones in it. All lined up in a little room. <laughs> okay. So, number five. Keep chapstick, deodorant, and perfume on you at all times. Okay. So many stories, so many stories, but okay, middle school, or junior high, or whatever you call it, is the time in between childhood and really teenager, okay, because you're not really a kid kid anymore, but you're not a teen either, you're at this funny stage where you're like, what am I, <laughs> so, so, oh, and with the middle ground stage, hmm, Pretty good. Little stage. Okay, back to what I was saying. But with that, things start changing. You start to smell funky. And if you don't shower regularly, regularly, apparently I cannot speak anymore. But if you do not shower on a daily basis, or <laughs> at least every other night, oh, um then you're, you're gonna have smell and then people and like let's be honest okay at my high school half the AC units did not work and it was always a billion degrees and same at our middle school but they work better at the middle school so like it's like you could be comfortable in there but you start sweating sweat builds up there's bacteria it starts smelling funky, okay? So, just have deodorant and perfume on you, okay? If you're not going to have a shower every night, which, why, why, why wouldn't you? Why? Just take a shower, okay? Make sure you have deodorant, okay? It's not a mask. It cannot cover it up forever, okay? When you wear a mask, we have to take it off to, like, face, breathe. Or sometimes the mask breaks okay so do not use it as a mask but yes have it on you just in case like I know there's some days you'll run out of the house and you're like huh I forgot this or I forgot this and also the chapstick thing like there's there's been plenty of times when I'm talking to somebody and it's the middle of winter and my lip bust open and it hurts so bad <sighs> but with chapstick it helps keeps it all nice and neat and not as hurtful all right so off my soapbox for now Whew. so many stories man so many stories because I also grew up in a house full of boys so many stories but <laughs> number six is be kind to your teachers and I'm not saying you have to be their best friend I'm just saying be like oh miss Nash are you having a good day or as you're leaving have a good day or how's your day been so far how was your weekend oh cool and sit and listen and pay attention and don't be that problematic child okay there's one in every class and it's no fun for the teacher it's no fun for the other students if you're acting like a goofball interrupting class because 
most of the time. Yes, you can get the teacher off sub off the subject, but that just means that you have to work harder and harder and harder to catch up. I'm just saying. It's not fun and no one will like you for it. So just be nice to your teachers. Listen and pay attention. Be respectful. And remember that they're people too. Okay? They're trying to make a living. They probably have a house payment or a car payment that they're working on. Okay? So, yes. In that sense, yes, they are making money teaching you. But at the same time. Guys, they went to school to be able to teach you. Okay? So, just be nice to them. Like, they've worked hard to get to that point. Okay? And they want... And I know a lot of you are like... They, they really don't want to see us. They don't want to see us successful. Most of them really do. Now, yes, you do have your feeler just like, y'all are done. You, you know, like, like you're never going to amount to anything. Like, we all know those teachers that were just like, why are you still here? If you don't want us to amount to anything, why are you still here? But yeah, so just be nice to your teachers because you never know what's happening. Okay, number seven, take good notes develop your note-taking system earlier on will help you when you reach high school 11th and 12th grade and when you go to college okay I wish I had known that this is one that I was like not good at all like I had such a hard time taking notes still do not as bad as I used to like I actually have a system like I have colorful pens now too so that that helps a lot but yeah so just figure out how you take notes be upfront and take the notes that you're given and make sure that you have everything that you're supposed to have. Okay, number eight, no drama. No, no drama, llama. No. Don't do it. Don't put yourself in the position that there's going to be a lot of drama. Okay, because it's going to make you miserable. It's going to make the people around you miserable. Oh, like, yes, I like reading about drama. And what happened yesterday with so and so because so and so said this and then but then so and so like started I like reading about it I'll be honest but I don't like it when it happens to me or like whenever I'm involved in it because a no B and most of the time the people that are like da 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 did this and da 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 you know most of those are just looking for attention so yeah so no drama drama not good no 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 so number nine always have a charger and so at my middle school we weren't allowed to have our phones out but because they would take it from you and then you end up in, in school suspension which was not fun okay it was a scary place i was never in iss as they called it but this is what would happen but I do know that some middle schools will allow you to have your phone out as long as it's not during class you can have them during like class changes like in the hallway you know check your phone check and see if you got a message and, you know I never had messages no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I, I did have messages um so yeah so number nine is just have a charger because you you never know. You, you might have forgotten to charge your phone the night before, and then you have soccer practice or softball practice or whatever practice, and you need your phone charged. So always have a charge. Just 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 keep one on you, even if you're not at school, because you never know when you're gonna need a charger, or when your phone's just gonna be like, hey, you thought I was charged? Just kidding. I'm actually on two percent. <laughs> okay, so. Number 10, this is also a cheesy one, just like number one, good way to bookend since when we started and 10 we're ending, but <laughs> 10 is just stay positive. Yes, eighth grade was not a fun experience for me. I remember it because I tried too hard, apparently, and I was a control freak. I, re I remember that, like, in my science class, we had a we had to do a presentation and we actually had to teach the class basically and my part of the thing was to make the 
PowerPoint that we were teaching off of. And so I made the PowerPoint because that was what my job was. Someone else made the test. Someone else made the little worksheet. So we all had our thing to do. Mine was make the PowerPoint. And my eighth grade science teacher was like, you need, now you need to calm down and let them help with the PowerPoint. I was like, I'm doing the PowerPoint. She's doing the test and he's doing the worksheet. We divided and we're conquering. You know, I was like, it's like, just stay positive. It's going to be okay. But still, if you have a positive outlook, most of the time, everything's going to be okay. It's going to be fun. Just, just take a deep breath. Think of ponies and horses. And you're all going to be fine. Okay? So just stay positive. Have a positive outlook on it. Yes, school is hard. It's always going to be hard. But at the same time, if you stay positive and have a positive outlook, you're gonna make it. I believe in you. I really do believe in you. So, yeah. So, with that being said, we have come to the end of the 8th grade tips video. So, I hope these helped y'all out. Um, just remember that no matter what you do, you always have to be yourself, okay? No matter where you go, no matter if you graduate, number one or if you graduate very last just be yourself and you'll actually go somewhere okay so grades don't define you just letting you know that <laughs> all right but if you have any ideas for any future videos that you would like to see make sure to leave them down below in the comment section also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video okay so and until next time bye